Hey everyone, welcome to part 38 of my Pokemon game series in Unity. So in this video, we'll make the Pokemon learn new moves when it reaches specific levels. So for example, if I beat this Bulbasaur and reach level 13, then you can see that Charmander learned a new move. So we'll implement that in this video. Special thanks to all my Patreons for making the series possible. By becoming a Patreon, you can support me in the making of the series and get access to some cool rewards like the complete project files of the series, which also contains some advanced features that are not covered here. So let's start the video. So right now, every Pokemon has a list called Learnable Moves which contains all the moves this Pokemon can learn and the level required to learn it. So a Pokemon like Charmander can learn Ember at level 7 and Flamethrower at level 13, etc. So let's say our Charmander is at level 12 and then it won a battle and, and leveled up to 13. Then it should learn Flamethrower, right? So what we have to do is, when a Pokemon levels up, we have to check if there is any move it can learn at that level and then try to learn that move. So in our battle system script, when a Pokemon levels up, we should also try to learn a new move. Okay. So after showing the dialogue, we'll try to learn a new move. All right. So first we need to check if there is any move that can be learned at the current level. So for that, I'll create a public function inside my Pokemon class. So here, I'll create a public function called get learnable move at current level. And this function is going to return an instance of learnable move. And inside the function, in order to find the learnable move at the current level, we can use a where statement on our learnable moves list okay so if i want to get the learnable move at level 13 then i can use a where statement and i can pass a lambda condition like x dot level equal to 13 okay so this is what i'll do if i want to get the move at level 13 so obviously i don't want to get the move at level 13 but i want to get the move at the current level right so the current level of the pokemon is stored in this level variable so i'll say x dot level equal to equal to level all right so this is the current level and this is the level required for the learnable move so this where condition will return the list of learnable moves that has the current level okay but we just need the first one so I'm going to say dot first or default. Okay, so this will just get the first item from the list. So we have found the learnable move at the current level. So now all we have to do is just return it. Okay, so now once we level up, we can call this function on our player Pokemon. So I'll say player unit dot Pokemon dot get learnable move at current level and I'll store this move in a variable called new move okay and by the way if there are no learnable moves at the current level then this will return null all right so that's what first or default will do if the list is empty then first or default will return null there is another function called first in link. What this function will do is if the list is empty, then it will throw an exception. But we don't want that. We want to return null if the list is empty. So if there is no move that can be learned at the current level, then new move will be null. So what we can do is we can check if new move is not null. Okay, and 
If it's not null, then we can try to learn that move, right? But before we learn the new move, we have to check one more thing. We have to check if the Pokemon already has four moves. So I'll say if player unit dot Pokemon dot moves dot count is less than four, only then I want to learn the move. Okay, and otherwise the player will have to forget a move in order to learn this new move. Okay, so we will be implementing that in the next video. But let me just add a comment over here. Okay, so in this case, we don't want to check for anything else. We can directly learn the new move. So inside the Pokemon class, I'll create another public function called learn move. And this function will take an instance of learnable move. So in here, all we have to do is add our new move to the list of current moves. So I'll say moves dot add. And we need to pass an instance of the move to add. Okay, so to create an instance, I'll say new move. And for the move base, I'll pass move to learn dot base. Okay, so this is all we have to do to learn a new move. But just to be safe, we can check if the move count doesn't exceed 4. And if it does, we can just return. And we won't do this. Alright. And by the way, I don't like writing numbers like these directly. So we have written 4 directly in two places now. Right. So the problem with this is if you decide to change this for some reason, then you'll have to go through your code and change it everywhere. So instead what I'll do is I'll create a static property inside my Pokemon base class and I'll call this max number of moves. Okay, and I'll set it to 4 by default. And now what we can do is instead of directly writing 4 over here, I can say Pokemon base dot max number of moves. Alright, so let me also change it in my Pokemon script. And by the way, there's also another place where I hard coded 4 in my Pokemon script. So let me also change that. So now that's much more clean. So we're done with the learn move function. So now in here, we can call learn move on the player Pokemon. Okay. So after that, I'll show a dialog like Pokemon learn this move. So I'll say something like Pokemon learned and the name of the move. Okay, which we can get from base.name. All right. And finally, once we learn a new move, we also have to set the moves in the move selector once again so that the new move will also be shown so i'll say dialog box dot set move names and for the moves list i can just pass player unit dot pokemon dot moves all right so that's all we have to do so let's go to unity and test this so remember if our charmander reaches level 13 then it should learn flamethrower. So let me start a battle real quick. Okay, so currently our Charmander is at level 12. So let me try to level up. Alright, so we gained some experience. 
but not enough to level up. So let me try to beat another Bulbasaur. All right, so now we should gain enough XP to level up. Okay, so we grew to level 13 and we learned Flamethrower. So now if I start another battle, as you can see that we have Flamethrower in our move list. So Flamethrower is a much more powerful move than Ember. So let's try it out. We should be able to kill the Bulbasaur in one move. So yeah, that works. So our Charmander learned a new move and we were able to use that in a battle. So I'll stop the video here and in the next video I'll handle the case where the Pokemon already has 4 moves but wants to learn a new one. Alright, so I hope this video was helpful. Please leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to my channel. That will really help me out. So I'll see you in the next video.